गुड मॉर्निंग क्या होते स्टूडेंट्स दो बार देर इन दी वर्ड ऑनलाइन क्लासेस टुडे नाउ वील हैव अ वर्ड अनदर सेक्शन दैट सेक्शन इज कॉल्ड एस फोर आर फोर दिस फोर आर इज अल्सो कॉल्ड एस एंटी ब्रेकिंग This portion is called as a forearm. Now the forearm, which is there, you have to study in that under the heading of under the heading of facial. The skin of the front of arm. The skin of the forearm, as it descends down after crossing the wrist joint, it will be going to become as a skin of front of hand that is called as a skin of the palm or as part of the hand. The skin of the want to that of the you can say for her as it traverses laterally it will be going to be become a skin of the lateral aspect of the forearm the skin of the you can say forearm as it runs towards medially as it runs towards medially as it runs towards medially it will be going to become a skin of the medial aspect of the forearm now the skin of the front of arm forearm and what the skin of the front of d you can say for arm which will be running towards medial the skin of the medial aspect of the forearm is always smooth because there will be a what in the between space of that of the superficial fascia and the deep fascia wide amount of the what fat will be deposited so thereby the skin is smooth is there and the skin of the front and the medial aspect of the front of the forearm is always shiny and smooth because it will be devoid of hairs but the same thing is not true posterior part of the what that of the forearm and the what lateral aspect of the forearm it is bit rough because there will be a scarcity or otherwise less deposition of this fat in between space present between the superficial fascia and the deep fascia and also thereby you will be having a abundant amount of the what dissolution of the what hairs more and more in the what male but comparatively less in the what female sex so this will be the Now the skin of the what that of the back aspect of the you can say forearm in the same way, which will be there. Now, like. 
like this, you do the back aspect. So this is the wrist, this is the posterior view, this is the anterior view. This is where you can say the lateral part, this is the median, this is the what? Posterior, this is the anterior reverse. So this may be the right side and the same it will be the right side posterior. Now the skin of the what? That of the you can say that aspect of the forearm, it is continuing from top. The skin of the back aspect of the arm. The skin of the back aspect of the forearm as it is and After crossing the body that of the wrist joint, it will be going to become as the it will be going to become as the skin of the back aspect of the forearm. As this sits down after crossing the skin of the water that of the you can say wrist and then thereby then thereby it will be going to become as it will be going to become as the skin of dorsal aspect of the hand so these are the things that what you should know about the skin of the you can say back aspect of the forearm and runs towards the lateral limb. it will be going to become as the water skin of the lateral aspect of the water that of the forearm skin of the water that of the back aspect of the forearm and it runs towards medially it will be going to become as the water skin of the medial aspect of the forearm now after having had this skin at this posterior portion Lateral part and the posterior part, there is an abundant amount of the water that of the hair distributions as well as, as well as it is a bit rough compared to the front part and the medial part of the foot. Now after having had the top on skin, you have to go to the water that is the superficial fish. Superficial fish. The superficial fascia, the superficial fascia is the water, the one which will be present just very close to the water that of the skin, like elsewhere. This superficial fascia is adherent to the water that of the skin. The superficial fascia of the water that of the forearm, it is continuing from above. The superficial fascia of the water that of the arm that too from me, means at the front view. As this superficial fascia runs down, it will be going to become as the water that of the superficial fascia of the water that of the front part of the water hand or the palmar aspect of the hand after crossing the wrist. Then uh, the superficial fascia of the water that of the forearm uh, after you can say running towards medially, it will be going to become as the superficial fascia of the that of the medial aspect of the forearm. Superficial fascia of the water, that of the you can say, front of the you can say forearm as it runs towards the lateral, it will be going to become as the water superficial fascia of the lateral aspect of the forearm. In the same pattern, the superficial fascia of the water, that of the forearm, at the back view, it is continuing from above the superficial fascia of the water, that of the back aspect of the arm. As that superficial fascia runs down after crossing the water wrist joint, it will be going to become as the superficial fascia of the back aspect of the hand or the dorsal aspect of the hand. The superficial fascia of the water that of forearm as it runs towards the medially and the laterally respectively, it will be going to become as the water superficial fascia of the medial aspect and the water lateral aspect of the forearm. But the superficial fascia which will be there here, it is containing the water that of the areolar tissue in front and the water that of the medial aspect. But there will be a water, very less amount of the water that of the areolar tissues, but that is replaced by the water 
fibrous so it will be the water of so this is what the regard in the superficial fish now we have to go to the water deep fish here which will be there which will be there now that deep fish here in order to understand we have to take the water cut section of the water that d you can say four r cut section of the four r we took the boy to come like this this is what is said to be as a four r ts ts of four r now in the ts of four r you will be going to see on this side on this side so it will be the water that is given you can say anterior view So here you will be going to have the water that of the alma. Here you will be going to have the water radius. I am writing R. So it is a cut section. So you will be having the skin, the one which has been already taught for you. Now you will be going to have the water. This thing, this is water. What is said to be the superficial fish here of the water that of the you can say four R. superficial fish here now we have to go to the water another part that what we people are explaining at present now that is what is said to be as i will be drawing with the water that of the purple now that purple is you will be having a deep fish deep fish so this is what the deep fish deep fish here you will be So this I will name it as a deep fish. Now deep fish of the polar is called as deep fish of the polar is called as antibrachial, brachial fish. Now antibrachial fish is the one. The one which will be the deep fish of the forearm, the one which is continued from above that to in the front profile, the deep fish of the arm. Now deep fish of the forearm, that is antibrachial fish, as it descends down, it will be going to become as a what after crossing the wrist joint, it becomes a palmar fish. It becomes a palmar. The deep fish of the water that of the forearm as it turns towards um, laterally and medially, laterally and medially, it will be going to become as the deep fish of the medial aspect and the water deep fish of the water lateral aspect of the forearm. The deep fish of the water that of the you can say back, it is continuing from above. The deep fish of the water that of the where you can say arm, which is thick. And the deep fish of the water forearm at the level just below the water bent of the elbow or at the level of the elbow, it is very much a tightly adherent to the olecranon process of the water that of the ulna and as well as the posterior border of the ulna. And further, it will be going to get descent down after crossing the water that of the wrist joint. It will be going to become as a deep fish of the dorsum of speak of the hand. Now the deep fish of the water forearm as it runs towards you can say medially and then laterally, it will be going to become as a water deep fish of the water medial aspect of the forearm and the lateral aspect of the forearm from medial to lateral respectively. Not only with that, this deep fish here, especially at the level of the water, the front part of the water, that of the even you can say elbow joint. There will be a one of band produces. It will be going to have what is said to be as a bicepital, bicepital aponeurosis. So it forms the water that of the bicepital aponeurosis. Now what is the bicepital aponeurosis? Bicepital aponeurosis is nothing but it is the the part of the water that of the deficiency of the water that of the uh, total forearm. At the level where it will be there, at the front part of the 
elbow joint. So that is called as a bicipital aponeurosis. So another comes bicipital bicipital aponeurosis. Bicipital aponeurosis. Bicipital aponeurosis. It is. So this is what the thing. Now after having had this. This you can say defacing of the forearm at the level of the water that the elbow joint medially and the laterally it will be attaching to the water condyles condyles of the water that of the lower end of the water that of the humerus that is medial and the lateral at the condyles now this figure you can say defacing of the water that of the you can say forearm that is called as a water antibracheal fascia this one as it runs in between the muscles as it runs in between the muscles it will be going to form the water that of the intramuscular septas that is what is said to be as a lateral intramuscular septa and the water that of the medial intramuscular septa so this will be the water lateral intramuscular septa and this will be there as the water that of the medial inter muscular septa intermuscular septa so these intermuscular septa so they will be going to run in between the muscles which are performing either the different functions or sometimes there are many which will be going to run in between the muscles of either performing the same function in the same aspect that is front and as well as the back those are called as also the what inter muscular intermuscular septas intermuscular septas but they are not called as a what medial and lateral they are called as the intermuscular septas intermuscular septas either front profile or the back profile then this intermuscular medial and lateral why they are called because they are attached to the what a lateral border of the water that of the radius and and the water that of the medial border of that of the you can say ulna hence the name otherwise not now these you can see medial intramuscular septas and as well as the water that of the intramuscular septas which are there which will be running either the same profile front or the back but the main dictum is what it should run between the muscles now these all will be going to run towards run towards the water radius bone and the ulna bone and forms the water that of the periosteum of periosteum of that of the cancer radius and the periosteum of the water that of the ulna together and these you will can say intraosseous border that is the lateral border of the ulna and the medial border of the radius will be going to cover from back and from front forming as a what covering over the covering over the over the interosseous membrane so interosseous membrane is an active but it is the what formed totally by the what this defacie defacie of the water that of the forearm that to after running medial and lateral intramuscular septum or the intramuscular septum it will be running or it will be the continued part of the periosteum periosteum of ulna and the water that of the periosteum of periosteum of radius so what is the meaning of periosteum periosteum is the outermost covering outer most covering of the bones that is radius and the ulna in the forearm as because we are talking on that now so like this you will be going to form a water that of the deficiency
So deep fish you will be having all these, you have to remember. One is the medial intramuscular septum, lateral intramuscular septum, intramuscular septums and the periosteum and it forms the water that of the interosseous membrane. By the water, periosteum of the water, radius and the water. Now the question comes, why this year you can say, uh, you, are, you can say intermedial and the lateral intramuscular septum. By means of the lateral and the medial intramuscular septum, you would be going to have the compartments. The one compartment which will be there in front of, in front of, in front of, in front of the intraosseous membrane. In front of that of the you can say ulna and the periosteum covering the ulna. In front of radius and the periosteum covering the water that of the front part of the radius anterior surface. And the water, front part of the water, medial intramuscular intramus septum and the lateral intramuscular septum fully under the cover of skin or superficial fascia and the deep fascia of the water front of fora is called as what is said to be as an anterior anterior compartment. Now this anterior compartment, compartment of the fora for the purpose, further explanation, it will be going to get divided itself into the what one, another you can say fascia, that is the deep fascia only. Now that deep fascia is called as transversalis fascia. Now this transversalis fascia, it is present in front, so this is called an anterior transversalis fascia or the one which will be there in front, it is called the flexor, flexor, because all the muscles which will be there in this compartment, they will be the what flexor of wrist joint, they will be acting on the wrist, hence it is called the anterior of the flexor transversalis fascia. Like now, you will be going to have, there will be a what, another you can say, transversalis fascia, we will see a little bit later. Now, which has the water, anterior or the flexor, transversalis fascia, transversalis fascia. Now, this anterior compartment, it will be going to get divided itself into a water, again two. Now, those two, you will be going to get now this compartment is called as F1 and this compartment is called as a what? F2. Now F2 and F1. Now if you go to the what F1, F1 is nothing but it is the what a superficial flexor compartment. Superficial flexor compartment. Now this superficial flexor compartment is one of the one which will be present in front of the water that of the anterior surface of radius and the ulna periosteum of the water that of the radius and the ulna in front of the water that of the interosseous membrane in front of that of the medial lateral intramuscular septum and the water in front of that of the flexor of the anterior transversalis fascia fully under the cover of that of the fascia of the water forearm front and the superficial fascia and the skin from inside out so this compartment is called as a superficial flexor compartment. Now this superficial flexor compartment has got the muscles, has got the vessels, has got the nerves. Now you will be going to have another compartment that is F2. Now this F2 is nothing but it is the deep flexor compartment. Deep flexor compartment. Deep flexor compartment of the water that of the forearm, the one which will be present in front of that of the intraosseous membrane, in front of the anterior surface of the water radius, anterior surface of the water that of the ulna, and the periosteum that which covers the water that of the radius and ulna from lateral to medial, and the water that of the lateral intramuscular septum and the water medial intramuscular septum fully under the cover of, fully under the cover of. The water that of the skin of the front of the water that of the forearm, 
superficial fascia of the water that of the front of the forearm, deep fascia of the water that of the front of the forearm, and the content of flexor compartment, superficial flexor compartment of forearm, such as muscles, vessels, and the nerves, and the water that of the this flexor or the anterior transversal is fascia. So this will be the what the thing. Where that reflexor compartment is there. Now this reflexor compartment also contains, also contains muscles, second vessels, and the water that of the nerves, and the nerves. Now like manner, it will be going to have the water. There will be a extensor, the one compartment which will be present, one compartment which will be covered, present. Behind the water, that of the posterior surface of the radius and the posterior surface of the water, that of the ulna and the periosteum, that which covers the radius and ulna from lateral to medial. But it is completely covered that to posteriorly or superficially, skin, superficial fascia, and the deep fascia of the back aspect of the forearm. That is called as a what? Extensor compartment. But this extensor compartment has got the once again subdivisions. Now that subdivision is made by the what? Extensor or posterior transversalis fascia, like manner the front. Like manner the front. So this way. Now this is called as a another transversalis fascia. Now, by means of having this extensor or the posterior transversal fascia, this extensor compartment is divided into water. One, you will be getting the other water superficial extensor compartment of forearm. Forearm. And another one is deep extensor compartment of forearm. Forearm. Now, coming to the water, superficial extensor compartment of the forearm is the one of the one which will be present just behind the water that of the posterior surface of the water that of the radius posterior surface of the ulna and posterior to the water that of the introsius membrane full I mean to say that the periosteum that which covers the water posterior surface of radius and the posterior surface of the ulna and posterior to the lateral intramuscular septum and the medial intramuscular septum Apart from that, it will be present also posterior to the water that of posterior to the water that of the extensor transversalis fascia and the content of that of the deep extensor compartment of the forearm. So this will be there like this superficial. But this superficial compartment, superficially or posteriorly, it is completely, completely covered by skin, superficial fascia and the deep fascia of the water that of the forearm which will be completely covered. So I am talking in respect to this. So it is posterior here or you can take it front whatever all the things. So I am explaining this. So in front of your you can say posterior this is what here in front this is the thing. All these things are there. Or you can take it as a water. This will be covered now here. So I am talking about this superficial extensor compartment. So in front to this, all these are there. Behind to this, this will be there. Now the content of that of the extensor superficial extensor compartment of the forearm, like manner, you will be going to get the water muscles up. Vessels are no. Now you have to talk on this. This will be the what? Deep extensor compartment of the forearm. No? Deep extensor compartment of the forearm is the that compartment, the one which will be there either in front of. This in front may be said to be as a deep. No? Posteriorly is said to be as a superficially. You can convert anyway. So this you can say deeply or in front. Related to the water, that of the posterior surface of the water, that of the radius, the posterior surface of the ulna, 
periosteum of the what that of the radius, periosteum of the ulna, and the what that of the interosseous membrane, and the lateral and the posterior medial intramuscular septum. Then superficially or rather posteriorly, it is related to the what that of the where you can see skin, the superficial fascia, the fascia, and the extensor transversalis fascia, or you can say it as the posterior transversalis fascia and the contact of the superficial extensor compartment. So this will be the what deep extensor compartment. Now this deep extensor compartment also contains the what muscles and the what vessels and the what nerves. So in order to complete the what that of the forearm, you should know this thing, this part. So automatically now what one must know important. One must know about this. You can say forearm. And the skin, and the superficial fascia, and the deep fascia, with having all those things, you have got the flexor compartment, and you have got extensor compartment. In front and behind, respectively, two radius. Then, in this flexor compartment, you have got the F1 and the F2. F1 is the superficial flexor compartment. F2 is the Deep flexor compartment. Like manner, we have got the extensor one and the extensor two. Now, extensor one is called as the superficial extensor compartment. X two, E X two is the what the deep extensor compartment. And these all compartment common content is there. That common content is. Muscles are there, vessels are there, nerves are there in all the compartments from front to back. That is, either you can say anterior compartment or the extensor compartment, anterior compartment or the flexor compartment, and then you will be having a what posterior compartment of the forearm is called as what extensor. There also superficial and deep. Like manner, how you have got a front and back. So this is what you should know, and once you know this. You have to go to the what shift yourself to the what any compartment study, flexor or extensor. To begin with, front to back. So you have to go to the what flexor. In that flexor, you have got F1, F2. F1 is the superficial flexor compartment. F2 is the deep flexor compartment. So with that, I will be stopping tomorrow when we will be going to come. We have to go to the what superficial flexor compartment of the what forearm. So with that concept, you have to come with prepared in order to know the what muscle series which are present in the what superficial flexor compartment of the forearm, especially here in the F1. Okay, with this I will be leaving with you giving a hint for the what tomorrow's topic. Thank you, thank you, one and all.